Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't you start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonamiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looks great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, um... We don't... know you? No, you don't. I'm Saeko. Alright, so... Is Saiko your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender. At a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah. He may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's Red Light District. But he's gone, I guess both my club and Orohime Land are probably gonna shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. 
But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She has to have a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... Pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? What? You have your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho, I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, ho hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Uh, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to tell you! Loma! That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, 
Let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. They might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep, and milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it too. But don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. <sighs> but after she died, I just wanted out. <sighs> Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? All my life, I felt pretty alone, but I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself, because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me, even Nonomiya. <sighs> Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's so frustrating, because it's like... Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, grass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... that nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. 
that's not right. <laughs> I can't do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Oh, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that settles it. Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. What's up? Yeah. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> with the baby formula. Oh. Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Not so fast, Chief. You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir! You're the battle is on. Right. Try this on your side. I'm not that. Come on, get cocky. You're weak. You're in it now. Apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. 
Well, actually... I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your, uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Huh? These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your name? Ichiban Kashida. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. Yes, sir. Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand, and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child. But all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures, very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp, so we need a little back pat. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh... Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Huh? Me? That's right. No need to be shy. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now, 
Let's say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. Yes, sir. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a- Hey! What the hell, man? Let me go! Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll- Oh. and hand over your wallet. Hey, don't you punks have anything better to do with your lives? Huh? Who the fuck are you? Oh, perfect timing. You're with PartTimeHero.com, right? Part-time hero? Uh, you lost me. I don't know what your problem is, but if you're trying to be a hero, your ass is going down! Let's beat him down! Yeah. Go, get get it. Stop! Nice. <laughs> Man, you really kicked ass back there. Thanks, parttimehero.com. Still don't know what this hero thing you're talking about is. What? You mean part-time hero didn't send you? Da-da-da-da! Never fear! Part-time hero is here. 
Huh? So this year's our bad guy, huh? Just look at him. Yep. Got the classic thug tells. Money hungry gaze, low life outfit. What is it with that hair? Looks like he set off a bomb in front of his face. Actually, this guy right here, he. Say not another word. For the glory of part time heroes everywhere, I will vanquish this villain post haste. Now put up your dukes. I'm no stranger to fisticuffs. I'm ready. Right. Try this on the side. Take your back off this. Get sick. Cool. Come I'm on. I'm not backing down. Okay. Have fun with this. Watch <gasps> this. Let's go. Going in. Here we go. Check this out. Yeah. Check this You're out. You're gonna be in a world. Get yeah. alive. Have fun with this. Come on. thug at all, man. He's right. This guy here, he rescued me just now. He rescued you? What are you trying to say? <laughs> so it was all just a big misunderstanding. Sorry about that. I can't do much in the way of an apology, but I'd be happy to treat you to some tea or what have you. How's that make up for anything? I went through two fights just now. You know what? You're right. I beg your pardon. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm the president of Part-Time Hero Incorporated. Please, call me Hero. Fun fact, I named this company both after myself and the concept of a hero. <laughs> so clever, I know. Okay, I'll ask again. What is this part-time hero thing? Uh, <clears throat> Parttimehero.com offers a revolutionary service that puts you in touch with a hero, all from the comfort of your smartphone. It puts you in touch with a hero? That's what we call you when you register. You'll be taking on quests that people in need post. Upon accepting, it's your job to dash onto the scene and save the day. The concept is... <laughs> Well, it's an odd job service anyone can use. Uh, and it doesn't take much to start. You could choose to find pets or people if you'd rather stay out of trouble. I promise, it's rewarding work. Huh. I gotta ask, though. Why make this service if there are already others like it? What sets you guys apart? Well, what really sets us apart? Well, it's our mission to clean up the town, stopping trouble before it starts. So it's like bounty hunting, then? In a way, yes. What you did just now, fighting off those thugs? That was actually a quest posted by a client. Ijincho, as you know, has an exorbitantly high crime rate. That's why I started this thing up. And what do you know? <laughs> it works! Makes sense. Now I know why that guy thought I was all part-time heroed out. Well, that's another thing. The fact that there are still good, honest people like you out there, it reassures me. I'd say you're one of the few real heroes left in the world. Yeah, all I did was punch a guy who was starting to piss me off. Anyway, see ya. Wait, 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 please, just a minute. What now? Well, if it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to work for me as a part-time hero? So you want me as your muscle? That it? Essentially. We've been getting rave reviews, so we always have an influx of new quests. But since true heroes are in short supply, it means we're short-staffed. The biggest struggle is finding someone capable of actually winning a fight. Since these heroes are rare, a lot of our clients are still in desperate need of help. 
This city is full of crime. People just don't know what's waiting for them out there. Believe me, I want to help as much as I can, but I'm only one man. And that's where I come in, huh? You've got more than what it takes. Above all, you look out for the little guy and let no evil go unpunished. We need people like you. At my company and on the streets, you'll receive compensation, of course. It's a job that feels satisfying and pays well. So what do you say? Will you keep this city safe for all of us? All right, sign me up. Not sure how much help I can be, but why the hell not? That's what I like to hear. Okay then, let's rescue this city together. Looking forward to it. Oh, and I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san, got it. Then allow me to fill you in on the details. And that's about it. Now get out there and save the day, hero. Right on. I like where this is going. Could always use some extra cash. And it's nice being called a hero. I can't seem to remember the title of this movie I saw a few years back. I mean, it was one of those real, emotional rides, and I remember wanting to see it again. It was a, a boy meets girl movie. Your, uh, was it my... My pancreas wants to scream. Something like that. What the hell are you talking about? Does the hero have a stomach ache or something? Maybe it was about a guy who wanted to quit drinking. Nah, it was all about being... What a nice time that is. Well, I'll let you know if I ever spot it. Oh, was it, yo, my stomach's gonna blow? Maybe? It's not about a stomach ache. I don't think he's gonna remember. Ugh. <sighs> 